Use caution when working with automotive batteries. Always wear gloves and safety glasses and work in a well-ventilated area. This vehicle has a no star condition. First we'll start with a visual inspection and then we'll go to a diagnostic procedure. If you see cracks in the case or obvious terminal damage, the battery needs to be replaced. Look for a loose or broken belt. The alternator keeps the battery charged when a vehicle is running, so if the belt driving the alternator is broken or slipping, the alternator can't do its job and the battery will run down quickly. Check for corroded or swollen battery cables. This step is often overlooked and can lead into a misdiagnosed battery problem. Under normal operating conditions, batteries release gases that react with metal components around it, most notably the terminals and the battery cable ends on top of the battery. So you need to be diligent in your inspection here. Even non-visible corrosion between the cable and battery terminal can cause a poor connection and stop the vehicle from starting. Next look at the battery terminals. Chemical reactions can cause deposits to form on the terminals and this can impede the flow of electricity through the contacts. If that happens, not only can it affect the operation of the lights, radio and so forth, but can also prevent the battery from getting a sufficient charge from the alternator. Deposits will appear powdery and most likely be white or light green in color. To be sure the connections aren't causing problems, remove the cables and clean the top of the battery, posts and terminals with a battery terminal brush. Now this battery looks like it's in good condition physically. The battery terminals are nice and clean. The next step is to check with a digital multimeter. The ignition key should be off and all the lights and accessories should be turned off. Make sure the battery is clean and dry. Moisture on top of the battery can cause false readings. Set the digital meter to DC volts. Connect the positive lead to the battery's positive terminal and the negative lead to the negative terminal. If the reading shows 12.6 volts or higher, the battery is fully charged. If the battery shows anything less than that, it must be recharged before doing any other tests. Your friends at AutoZone can charge your battery for you, or you can do it yourself if you have a battery charger. If your battery is discharged, there is one of three reasons why. The charging system isn't recharging the battery as it should, there is a drain on a battery possibly due to an accessory or a light staying on when it shouldn't be, or your battery just won't hold a charge anymore. The great thing is, once you get your battery charged, you can just drive the vehicle down to AutoZone and they can help you find out the exact cause. Okay, the meter shows this battery to be low on charge. Let's go ahead and pull it out and take it down to AutoZone so they can charge and test it. First, insert the memory saver device. Then disconnect the battery cables. Remember to always remove the negative cable first. Remove the battery hold down clamp. This is usually a bar across the top or a wedge type clamp on one of the bottom edges of the battery. In most cases, the clamp is secured with one bolt. If the battery has a handle, use it to pull the battery away from the car. Otherwise, use a battery strap to remove the old battery. Be careful not to let the battery touch exposed skin, clothing, or the vehicle when removing it. Well, that's all there is to removing the battery. Next, we'll take it down to AutoZone, have it charged and tested. Only a few tools are needed to service and maintain your battery. The most important of these is a good pair of safety glasses. Be sure to put them on any time you work on your car and especially before you check the electrical system or battery. You'll also need a basic socket and wrench set and a pair of gloves to protect your hands from battery acid. Nitro gloves are an excellent choice because they offer good protection against chemicals. And don't forget our handy little memory saver. Be cautious when working under the hood. If the engine has been running, components will be extremely hot. So be careful what you touch. Get the entire DVD for this repair and all other procedures covered in the Complete Car Care Series at your local AutoZone store.